Hi, it's Joanna from AdsJap, and this is the prototype version 3.1 of our app. In this video, I'll take you through the main features of our improved app. The app uses fake ads and fake in-app purchases to teach your child how to deal with them in real life and gives them knowledge and skills which they can carry through the lives in the digital world. This is the setup screen where you can set up the, the app and personalize it. You start by taking and uploading a photograph of your child's toy, or you can choose a picture from our library, which is an option we suggest for younger kids. This is a photo of my daughter's panda bear. The photo can be changed at any point in the options section. Here we have a screenshot showing how the app will look like when you're in the game. As you can see there are two layers here. The layer with fake ads which is the AdsJap educational layer and another layer which is in this game a math game but can be any game reading writing foreign language. The aim of the AdsJap educational layer is to teach the child not to click on ads and inner purchases. So if the kid clicks on the fake ad here, it takes her on him to this screen, removing the instant gratification by freezing the screen for 10 seconds. This is a negative reinforcement, but also a consequence of the behavior, because this is what often happens when you click on the ad. They pop up on your screen and you can't close them for a period of time. This screen also teaches the child how to close the ad before he or she can return to the previous screen. From time to time, the app will display positive reinforcement messages, showing the child the progress on the road to mastering the art of ignoring ads. This is another screenshot from inside the app, with the same logic behind and fake in a purchase window. If the child clicks on it, this is a message he or she will see or hear as we will have a voiceover option for younger children. This is again a negative reinforcement discouraging children from clicking on the inner purchases windows but also explaining potential consequences of their behavior. It also teaches child how to close this sort of windows. If the child doesn't click on the window the app will display positive reinforcement again showing them where on the road to mastery they are. When the child wants to stop the game another positive message appears showing the overall result of the efforts in the session and congratulating on their achievement. From time to time a message encouraging the child to get the parent involved with a peer. In this simple way, we want to ensure that it's the parent who is accessing the option screen without getting too serious with accounts and passwords. And this is the option screen. The parent can access progress report in the game. The progress can also be received via email. We'll ask you to invite your friend and spread the word on social media in return. You can also change the photo. You can lock the device for a set length of time so your child can only play ads job game practicing the skills. You can print the certificate for your child, which is an a nice way of celebrating your child's achievements and there are also some further options where you can further personalize the game. If you like the idea, sign up for our updates by filling in the form and clicking on the big red button right by the video. Thank you.